So in this example, suppose you're interested in knowing, well, what's the percentage of US teenagers who own smartphones? What are you going to do? As a statistician, you're going to run survey. You run a survey and the number of people who participated in that survey, you have a thousand of them. And 372 said, yes, I own smartphone. Well, if I ask you to find a confidence interval for population proportion, what is the percentage of US teenagers who own smartphones? What are you going to do? What are the steps that you're going to take? What would be the very first step that you're going to take? So let's solve this step by step. What are the steps that we're going to take in building a new confidence interval? So let's see. Let's have these steps. We have to follow these steps. We don't have any other choices, but our question is now different. Our question says, hey, find the confidence interval, build the confidence interval for construct a confidence interval, CI confidence interval for US teens population population who owns smartphones. Okay, very good. We are the statistician here in this rule. In the very first step, we're going to find the point estimate, which is the sample proportion. What we did, we surveyed. We surveyed a thousand US teams and 372 of them said yes. We have smart phones. So it helped us to actually build the point estimate. P hat is de defined as X over N, the number of successes, which is the number of people who said yes, divided by N, 372 over a thousand, which is going to be, well, 0.372, or you can write it in percent form, which is 37.2%. Point 0.372 or 37.2%. Your point estimate can be written as decimal, or you can represent it in percentage. But remember that in the rest of the calculation, you're going to use the decimal form. Well, what is the confidence level? Do we have any information about confidence level? Do you know what confidence level is? Any idea about that? If it's not given, what should I use? What is the value that I'm going to use if it's not given? What is your CI? Very good. Thank you, everyone. The CI is 95%. Remember, either write it in decimal or in percentage. 95%. Okay. We are done with step one. We're done with step two. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Vip. And now we move on to calculate the critical value step three what is my critical value what is z sub c well i'm going to use my calculator calculator to the rescue i'm going to go to second i'm going to go to mars and then inverse norm well well okay so far so good 
So let me turn on the calculator. Second Mars and go to inverse norm. What do I need? I need the area. I also have information about mean and the standard deviation. Thank you, Christy. Well done. Thank you very much. So the area as usual is one minus C divided by two. So C is 95%, one minus 95% divided by two, or the area is 5% over two or 0 0.025. 0 0.025, mean is zero, standard deviation is one. I already know that because I'm dealing with Z. Mean is zero, standard deviation is one. So let's do the calculation. I already have Christy writing the answer for us. 1.96, thank you very much. ZC is 1.96. I found my critical value. I'm using my critical value in step four to find the margin of error. Margin of error for the population proportion has a different formula. E is equal to ZC times the square root of P hat one minus P hat over N. Okay, very good. I have all the information that I need. I have my N, a thousand. I have P hat, which is point, 372, then I can find one minus p hat. ZC, I already found it, 1.96. I have everything that I need. Where are you So this line is equal to ZC 1.96 times square root of p hat 0.372, parenthesis, one minus 0.372, divided by N, N is a thousand. There are a thousand people in my survey. Okay, if I do the computation, E is approximately is what number? Guys, please do the computation and give me your margin of error. What would be the margin of error in this case? What is E? If you just run the numbers in your calculator, what is it that you're getting? Very good, thank you, Aaron. Got to stop the class. Abby, thank you very much. The margin of error is approximately 0 0.03, approximately 3%. The distance is approximately 3%. 3%, remember that. This is the distance. This is your point estimate, and this is the distance. So the confidence interval is equal to, let us open the parenthesis, p hat minus margin of error, comma p hat plus the margin of error. So again, these are all approximations. So it's going to be p hat, which is 0.372 minus the margin of error, 0 0.03 comma, 0.372 plus the margin of error, the distance. So approximately what I'm going to have, our confidence interval is about 34.2%, point and point four o two. Or in our final report to the boss, they're going to say that, hey, we are. 95% confident, confident what? Confident that the population proportion, the population percentage, the percentage of US teens, the percentage of US teens who on smartphones is between 34.2% to 40.2%. So this is our very last stop. When you are writing 
a statistical analysis, you must have a conclusion, a short report at the end. You need to say, hey, I am 95% confident about that. If I increase the confidence level, this interval is going to be larger. If I decrease the confidence level, this interval is going to be smaller. 